From the AutoNet menu, we can select the dual pipe system. On the ribbon menu, all the commands that are needed to draw the system will appear. First of all we need to place the radiators either manually or with the automatic placement. With the automatic placement, we need to select the spaces that the radiators will be placed. The radiators will be placed near the windows. With the manual placement, we need to select the type of the radiator and then its coordinates. We can move, copy, and rotate the radiators. All the known commands in CAD programs can be used for the radiators too. Select fittings to place the collector for the hot and cold water. Now the pipes must be drawn. Using the commands for the supply, return, or double pipe. There are many automations to help the user draw faster. For example you can select the pipe parallel to wall or points commands and select the walls where the pipes will be drawn. Here we draw the pipes by giving the points. In dual pipe system, we can draw only the hot water pipes. It is not necessary to draw the return pipes. If we do not draw the return pipes, automatically the length of the pipes will be multiplied by 2. We recommend for faster and easier drawing, to draw only the hot water pipes. After that we can connect the radiators with the existing pipes manually or automatically. By executing the automatic command, we select the radiator and then the pipe. When all the radiators are connected we can delete the segments at the edges of the pipe. The pipes of the circuit are connected in the front side of the collector with node snap.
the supply will be connected on the back side. The same procedure will be done for the second floor. In the basement, we are going to place the supply and return point. First we will connect the pipes with the vertical pipe using the perpendicular snap. After that the supply and return point will be placed using the end point snap. Execute the network recognition command to see if the network is drawn correctly. All the problems like unconnected segments will be detected and the user will be informed to make the corrections. Here the network is recognized without any problems and we can continue to the calculations. With that command the dual pipe system application will open. First of all the calculations must be updated from the drawing. In the Windows calculation sheet all the circuits for the levels are placed. On Network Option menu, we can see the basic parameters, such as, the water temperature, the pipe types, the expansion tank types, etc. With right-click on the calculation sheet, we select Hydraulic Solution. Automatically all the segments are defined with the hydraulic calculation method. The temperatures have changed due to the calculations. We need to check if any radiator has temperature drop more than 20 degrees Celsius. If we had bigger temperature drop we would need to change the network topology, or to add one more radiator on that specified space. In that project the temperature difference in every radiator is less than 20 so we do not need to make any changes. From the windows, we can see more calculations and some printouts.
The printouts can be linked to Word, for M Editor and Excel or can be exported to RTF or PDF. Return to the drawing and update the plan view, with the calculations and the real sizes of the radiators. The network can be converted to 3D. Axonometric and vertical diagram are automatically produced. All the new drawings will be saved on the BLD folder of the project. <laughs> 